There's not a more cool, mysterious fish out there. You take a bunch of fatheads or shiners, pinch them up, just put as much meat as you can on the hook, and you pound the bottom. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know anything about eel pout fishing. This is my first time going. I've never fished without a graph before, so that was eye-opening. Using big lake trail rods, that was pretty cool to be pounding bottom with ounce, ounce and a half jig. I've also never really been fishing in the middle of the night, so to be out there in the middle of the night till, you know, one, two in the morning, fishing for something that lives on the bottom and is, you know, can be giant, was pretty exciting. Pout prayer. I would say that they're just like any other fish, they have to eat. Um, but that special time when they spawn, they're really aggressive, they ball up. A lot of fish can be caught out of a small area, I guess. This is my first Brainerd Lakes area burbot. Well, actually any burbot. Um, dandy to say the least. Don't have any uh, graph, but this bad boy came up and slapped a uh, pout candy, pout candy spoon. Look at that. We're gonna get this guy off, get him back down, get back down there as soon as possible. Man, that's fun. We got a big yolk pout. Losing light, but I think I'm hooked up on a big one here. caught hundreds of eel pout in my life. Never a fish has been 12 inches before. I think that that indicates that these fish are spawning every year, uh, reproducing. The sport grows and grows each year and eventually they'll be sought after by all age groups. It seems like us younger kids are the ones that are kind of pushing it and pioneering it. They're a strong fish, they deserve to live. More people will get into the sport in years to come and fall in love with it like I did. <laughs>